it's difficult for the fans of Phoenix and uh, some of the ex -Jet, the Jet fans. Also, it's it's tough for the players. You know, there's a human element to everything, and with all these variables and everything being up in the air, it's kind of tough to get your head around. So I hope that the best situation and the resolution comes forward shortly, and as many people are happy as possible. At the end of the day, some people are going to be unhappy. But I hope it's the best situation for our game, for our fans, and for us as players at the end of the day. What would that best situation be for, well, for the players? Yeah, I think just knowing who your ownership's going to be, number one, and knowing that there's some stability from a financial standpoint. And then I think number two is knowing where you're going to be. <laughs> I mean, the reality is, <laughs> you know, I always tell people. <laughs> it sounds people, very simplistic, yeah. but it's true. Yeah, no, it's true. I always tell people we're people first. It's just the fact that we happen to play and we play in the best league in the world for hockey. But we're people. There's a human element. So... Uh, it'd be nice to know if your kids are going to be returned to the same school and or you know, if your wife's going to be um, working the same place or uh, volunteering at the same community center, whatever the case may be. Going back to the Phoenix point, obviously whatever the, the outcome is going to be, ideally speaking, it's better to have it sooner rather than later. And you look at Nashville this year, they were able to, uh, somehow they were able to stay in Nashville. It worked out. Unfortunately, there's the, in, the, uh, the incident with the owner there, mm -hmm. Del Baggio, one of the partners there. But the team, from a team standpoint, it was successful. They drew well all season. They had a good team. They made the playoffs. So that's really what it's all about and what we're asking for as players. That's what you want to do. You want to be a part of a playoff team. Now getting into the Phoenix situation a little bit more, uh, ideally, again, you just hope that they can find a resolution. But as far as it being in Hamilton or anywhere else in Canada, I think that we can sustain another three teams in Canada. Right. Because I feel as though we do have... The financial wherewithal, Canada is one of the most stable economies in the world. Mm -hmm. Our banking system's great. Uh, we have a lot of good things going for us financially that make us that stable. But at the same time, there are a lot of successful business people, businessmen and women in Canada, that can make it viable to have a team in Hamilton and or have a team come back to Winnipeg or have a team back in Quebec City for that matter. As he's one of the best business people in the world exactly. today, in spite of the global economic crisis. And at the same time, he's showing how hungry he is and how much and how badly he wants to, to buy an NHL team. I don't see how you can disrespect that. I'm with you. Maybe you shouldn't make it uh, make it 7.ca, <laughs> yeah. make it 9.ca. Right? That exactly. might be even better. No, you're right. You're uh, right. What role does the NHLPA and the players play in this situation? Are you kind of like innocent bystanders just along for the ride? We are observers. Observers, well say. done. From a, from a player standpoint, we're observers. We're uh, obviously watching intently and listening intently to see where it goes. Obviously, you know, our PA and from more of the Paul Kelly side, the administrative side, Glenn Healy, and from our legal side, I'm sure that they are, are a little bit more involved and uh, privy to what's going on for obvious reason. They represent us in our best interests as players. So uh, we're, all, we're all certainly watching and, and waiting anxiously to see how it's going to be resolved and more importantly, how it impacts us.